do a croquet ball and the plague have to do with a physics class? Well, we're about to find out. The Rossay High School grade 12 advanced physics students wrote their exams at the end of May. Then came June. And the physics of flight took over. And we're left with this being equal to... Who threw that? <laughs> So what do advanced physics students do in attempting to fight boredom? You build a catapult, of course. I was a little nervous when they started to talk about catapults and projectiles. Actually, it's a variation of a catapult. It's a trebuchet. The trebuchet was a common siege weapon in Europe between 850 AD and 1300 AD. Uh, popular ammunition for the trebuchet was uh, dead cows, large rocks, uh, heads, rotting flesh. When building our trebuchet, we first started by building A-frames for either side of it. These will be the major support for our arm, which will be placed here. Also, plague victims, dead pl uh, bodies that had been killed by the plague. These were especially popular because they would not only damage an army upon impact, but also infect it eventually. This is the arm of our trebuchet. It attaches to the main frame here with this rod. And the sling is attached to the lighter end to whip around quicker to throw the projectile. Occasionally the trebuchet was also used to execute people, negotiators or hostages, by throwing them up against, wall, against walls. Wow. These are the counterweights for our trebuchet. They weigh 20 kilograms each. They're attached to the shorter end of our swinging arm. They provide the potential energy to make our projectiles launch. <sighs> counterweight has potential energy being off the ground and when the trigger is pulled it falls. This energy is changed into kinetic energy of the arm which flings a projectile. Our trebuchet isn't that quite that dangerous. It's only capable of hurling anything up to about five pounds which is good. The first idea to build a trebuchet came from a student who had been in Quebec. Demonstrators against the World Trade Organization fired teddy bears over the barricade. They used a catapult. The idea was launched. Thank you, uh, wait, on, hang on, no. hang on, wait. Here you go. This also has a hand. How to aim the trebuchet was a prime concern to the teacher. We pointed it towards the woods because uh, we didn't know if it was going to go 20 feet or 200 feet. And there is another school down behind us. And I didn't want to get reports from them that uh, they were under attack. Uh, some of the projects I've done with my classes in the past, I've actually had calls from them uh, saying that, oh, there's somebody on the roof. Uh, well, that was me. Um, we might want to change the direction of it. I'm going to hit the ball next time. Directed somewhat no, that way. No, it will never hit the school. Are we? Okay. Anyway, Famous anyway. last words. <laughs> <laughs> A 40 kilogram counterweight, a 10 kilogram croquet ball. Put it in the... the ball flew 118 meters. And that's what happens when physics students get bored. <laughs> 